Good morning, everyone. So along with all the other stuff we, we've talked about here, I wanted to discuss with you uh, for Windows 10, Microsoft accounts. So if you've bought a new computer or maybe this has popped up, um, when you're setting up a new computer, one of the things that Microsoft wants you to do is to create a Microsoft account. No, um, there is a way of getting around this. It won't seem like it wants you to, but if you're doing a new computer setup, um, as you're going through it, it asks you, you know, let's connect to a network, which will be your wireless, or if you're using an ethernet connection, that'll be there. Uh, and then it goes to the next step is, let's create an account, and it wants you to create a Microsoft account. So the way to get around that is you don't connect to a network. Cortana will tell you, yay, if you don't do this, this is gonna do this. Ignore it, trust me, because you want a local account. Um, local accounts um, is like the days of XP and the days of Windows 7, uh, where the account is created locally on your computer. Um, and if for some reason you forget your password or whatever, we can break those accounts. Um, it sometimes takes five minutes, it sometimes takes two hours, but we can break a local account. Um, we have the tools to do that. And so we can then, you know, you bring your computer to us, I can't remember the password to my computer. Uh, if it's a local account, then we have tools that we can go in and uh, strip the password out of your computer to allow you to get to back in. If you create your computer with a Microsoft account or in one of the updates, it asks you to create a Microsoft account. Personally, myself, don't do it. If we ever wipe and reinstall your computer, we will never create a Microsoft account for you. Uh, we will never put your Microsoft account in uh, because it's just, it's too much of a problem. So if you have a local account, <clears throat> this is kind of what it looks like. Now, I don't have a password set up for the studio recording software, but um, yeah, it pops up. If this was a Microsoft account, most times this is an email where it says studio, it says your email address, and then you click, you know, put your password in and go go that way. If you're using a Microsoft account, you cannot set up a uh, passless uh, login like you can here. This is a passwordless login. So all I gotta do is click sign in, no password required, lets me write in. Um, the advantage to that, it's quicker to get into. The disadvantage to it is if this is on a desktop or a laptop and your computer is stolen, obviously, whoever turns on your computer then can get right into your computer. Pros and cons, take that into consideration. You can put passwords on local accounts. Uh, I strongly encourage them, especially with laptops, um, but still, <clears throat> just something to know. Now, the reason why I bring this up is because Microsoft actually records a lot of information about you if you're using a Microsoft account. Let me get into here. And I do have a Microsoft account because I have to. We're gonna go into my account. This is all the stuff, you know, related to my account, all the computers I manage so on and so forth. I mean, there's some nice things here. The The nice thing, like I said, about a Microsoft account is, you know, yeah, it's it's in theory supposed to be able to follow you. It never does. It's not like in the days of old. Um, Microsoft tried this once 15, 20 years ago with, uh, I want to think it was called Web TV um, for kids. If you have no idea what Web TV is, look it up. It was internet uh, yeah, <laughs> dial up internet. Uh, this is before the advent of smartphones. So, um, and this was a box that you could use to get internet without a computer. So anyways, I wanted to show you this. Let's go into privacy. Yeah, yeah, you want my password. <sighs> what Microsoft can't do is remotely destroy your computer. Um, unlike Google with your phone, if you have a Google account in your phone, the, you can sign into your Google account and physically hit the button that says reset and it completely destroys it. Um, or at least resets it and there's no data on it then. For Microsoft, it doesn't have that capability. In fact, they make it a whole lot harder. So yeah, you go into your privacy. 
and you can emote, remotely erase your browsing history, your search history, your location history, your voice search history, your media. Yeah, yeah, no. It should be just one button. Destroy. End of discussion. <laughs> so this, you know, for all of you people out there who are paranoia buffs, this is by having a Microsoft account on your computer, all of the information that Microsoft keeps about you. It's just frightening, isn't it? You know, they keep track of what you watch on TV and through the Microsoft app. Uh, they know what products and services are on your computer, even if they're not Microsoft related. Um, yeah, this is if you asked Cortana to tell you a joke. Yeah, they know which joke she gave you. Um, this is absolutely frightening. Uh, the sheer amount of information that Microsoft collects on you. Now, they claim it's all anonymous, but can't be anonymous when they have to tie it into a specific computer. So <clears throat> it might not be exactly related to you, although in order to have your information on here, they need your information. So yeah, um, that's just frightening, isn't it? So this is why we tell people don't use Microsoft account. Absolutely not. So, and I'll have to blip out my birthday there I see but yeah <laughs> no look at this browsing history search history location history you know if people say you know well if you have nothing to hide you have nothing to worry about if you get tons of spam in your emails and tons of pop-ups on your the lower right hand corner of your computer yeah maybe this is the reason why so yeah don't do Microsoft accounts um, sometimes you are forced into doing it um, but yeah, you don't have to. And I will bring this up because down here, this little white shopping bag you see me highlighting, um, this is the Microsoft App Store. And let me open this up. So much like iTunes, I, uh, yeah, much like iTunes for iPhones and Google's App Store, Windows 10 has an App Store. Um, and it's because this is how they're going. Um, if you buy a new laptop, sometimes they're stuck in what they call S mode, which absolutely drives me insane. Microsoft, note, don't do that. Let people make a choice. But they will lock a, a computer in S mode, and the only thing you can download is from the App Store. Yeah. Um, but through the App Store is where, you know, you can get your games and your apps and so on and so forth. Most of the, if it requires a purchase, then you have to have a Microsoft account. If it is free, then it will perfect example of this. And I'll show this a little bit more than the uh, other uh, video after this. HP Smart. Um, the HP Smart app is how your Windows 10 computers and your phones um, can directly communicate with your printer to print. When you go to install this, it's going to say, hey, we need your Microsoft account information. No, you don't. You can bypass it. Um, so, I mean, you just close out of it. It should then bring up launch or install or get, uh, and then you can go from there. So, um, yeah, you, you avoid the Microsoft account if you can. It's not that it's not a, a, a nice tool because in theory, if you get locked out of your account, then you can go to another computer, sign into your Microsoft account, change your password, and then sign, go back to your original computer and sign in. That's the idea behind it. But what happens if you only have one computer? Now what? Yeah, no, use, use local accounts. If you don't know how to set up a, use, uh, a new computer when you get it, uh, bring it in. We'll show you how to do it. Um, and uh, yeah, when it asks you to create a Microsoft account, just know. And you, uh, on a new computer, you will have to back up, disconnect from the internet to do that. So before, when you're setting up a new computer, if it's asking you to connect to a network to get in, important updates, uh, down at the bottom it says uh, I don't have internet or I don't want to set it up click that and then Cortana is going to say hey you know I need all this stuff <laughs> no no we'll get it later um, so yeah use local accounts local accounts are easier to work with like I said if you get locked out of your account or locked out of your computer because you forgot your password I see this all the time people create a Microsoft account they sign into the computer something happens two years later now they have to sign back in they can't remember the microsoft password and they go back to the live and they try to sign in to reset their password and of course 
their phone number has changed, their email address has changed, so now they're completely locked out, which then results in you completely wiping and reinstalling your computer. So, yeah, local accounts um, is the better choice. And like I said, if you need help doing that, let me know. If you've already got a Microsoft account on your computer, there is no way to unattach it short of wiping and reinstalling. Um, so, yeah. Um, as we, especially if they we're coming into the holiday season and, and people are going to be buying computers and laptops, don't do Microsoft accounts. Just no. You see all you've seen all the information they steal from you. So um, yeah, um, Microsoft accounts don't do them unless you absolutely have to. Don't do them. So anyways, that's my video. Um, like, share, subscribe if you found that helpful. Uh, or surprising uh, if there's our Facebook page uh, questions you know need to have us fix your computer there's our phone number there's our address like I said give us a call first before coming over and uh, we'll talk to you another time bye